Okay, first things first muna. Sorry for the noise outside. May construction lang na ginagawa. So, yung video na to is inspired from uh, Naval's Twitter thread. So, yung title ng Twitter thread then is How to Get Rich Without Getting Lucky. So, quick background story muna about Naval. So, si Naval uh, is the founder of uh, Angelist and also a legend in the tech startup industry. So, sa, so isa siyang VC. So, yung venture capitalist sila yung mga nag invest sa Uber, sa mga Twitter in their early stages. I guess what's unique and admirable sa kanya is yung concept niya ng uh, ethical wealth creation where everyone could be wealthy without pulling each other down. I believe the solution to making everybody happy is to give them what they want. Let's get them all rich, let's get them all fit and healthy, and then let's get them all happy. Is are those things even possible? Can Absolutely. Ev everyone can be rich? Everyone can be rich. Everyone. Here's my thought exercise for you. I first saw him sa episode ng Joe Rogan podcast and yung pinag-uusapan nila doon is about wealth, happiness and success. And I was quickly drawn sa perspective niya about those things. But what I wanted to talk in this episode is yung perspective niya about leverages and how you could get fortune using those leverages. Siguro let's explain muna yung concept of leverage. So for me, leverage is something that allows you to have an advantage of doing something or kaya naman, it allows you to multiply yung effect ng ginagawa mo without putting so much effort. So yung basic example of leverage is, for example, I want to cut a paper into half. Pwede ko naman siyang gawin manually with just both my hands. Pero pwede din ako gumamit ng scissors or if may pupuntahan ako. Example, I'll go to the grocery. Pwede naman ako maglakad. But if I use a bike, parang I could do it faster. First type of business or wealth leverage is labor. So this goes way, way, way back pa dun sa mga time of the empire like the Greek, the Roman, the Aztecs. So paano ito nag-work? Simply lang, you have to have people follow your lead. In a business sense, for example, uh, magtatayo ako ng lemonade stand. So imbis na magtayo ako ng isang lemonade stand, magtatayo ako ng apat. Pero syempre, hindi ko naman mababantayan ng hat ng lemonade stand ko all at the same time. So what I will do is mag-hire ako ng managers that would parang be me. Parang sila yung mag-manage ang lemonade stand ko and parang lahat ng kita ng mga lemonade stand ko para each one of them may makukuha ko. So, yun. Uh, so, yun yung parang basic concept of labor as a leverage. The second type of business or wealth leverage is capital. So, this is something what the bankers and the asset managers have. And if you look at it, uh, it's something man-made and it's something na that made the wealthy people in the last century. If you look at money, so printed paper lang siya. It's a special printed paper, but it allows you to acquire assets that rise in value like stocks, real estate, rare jewelries, rare cars, you name it. Pati cryptocurrency pa nga, eh, ba? And if you look at it, if marunong ka mag-manage ng capital na maayos and you could parang transfer it into different asset class and tataas yung value, you could easily scale up your wealth mo using capital. Example, you have a million peso, you bought a stock and it rises in value. You sell it and yung kinita mo and yung capital mo, you buy a piece of real estate and then tumaas yung value ng real estate, you sell it and if you look at it in that case, parang it easily really scales your wealth when you use capital ng maayos. The third type of business or wealth leverage is a leverage that has no marginal cost of replication. So ano yung mga example nito? It's writing code or kaya naman creating content for the internet. When you program a code, it allows a machine to do a task for you repeatedly and forever. And if you look at that example, uh, minimal lang naman yung ginamang effort kasi you just type a code and it has no cost uh, or napaka minimal ng cost na yun. And it will repeat yung action na yun forever. So parang nag-solve ka ng problem mo na instead of you doing it repeatedly, you just, you know, do something and have a leverage para gawin yun para sa'yo. When it comes to the internet media naman, let's just use this video for example. Back then, para ma-share ko yung thought ko or idea ko sa lahat ng tao, I just, I need to parang talk to you, to each and every one of you personally. But now, ang kailangan ko na lang is just to have this camera record myself, edit it in post-production, and then upload it, then yung message ko or yung thought ko will be spread sa inyong lahat. If you look at the modern wealthy people like Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, the Google Boys, and Mark Zuckerberg, yung business nila all heavily relies on coding. And if titignan mo naman yung new uh, media people, the new wealthy people in the internet media, if you look at PewDiePie, Casey Neistat, Joe Rogan, or kaya naman si Ninja, all of them utilize yung leverage of the modern internet media. What Naval promotes is for us to be more biased in sa third type of leverage, which, which is yung leverage with no marginal cost of replication. And uh, so, parang gusto niya mangyari is for more people to learn how to code or make 
content for the internet. And if titingnan mo talaga siya in a paper perspective, parang wala nang katalo-talo kasi you only have to do it once and it costs almost nothing and it scales really well. This type of leverage is also permissionless. So let me explain. If you look at labor for you to harness the leverage of labor, kailan mo sumunod sa yo? And also for capital. For capital naman, how will you acquire a huge amount of capital? So kailan mo mag-ask for people to invest sa yo or kailan naman kahiramin kanila ng capital? And if titi na mo yon, ah, you need other other people's permission para maharness mo yung power of that leverage. While dun naman sa leverage with no marginal cost of replication, all you need to do is learn how to code or kailan naman learn how to make content. And yung parang permission na is only from you, so permission less sya, kasi it's all sa you lang eh, de ba? But for me, I think it always depends on your strength. For example, if hindi ka marunong magcode and magaling ka naman na leader and you think kaya mo magpersuade ng mga tao to follow you, then the way to go is to use yung labor as yung leverage mo. And if magaling ka naman magmanage ng capital and you can switch from asset to asset and gain wealth from don. The way to go is capital. So just do what works for you. The reason why I made this video is I think because the concept nato is very important for us to be aware of. I don't know if it's too advanced para sa inyo, and I hope you still find this interesting. Let me know in the comment section below. Please give me topic suggestions relating to personal finance or self improvement or anything life in general. Ah, comment below kung ano yung parang mga suggestions yung for me to make a video of. All right, thanks for hanging around. Bye.